Okay, I thought I'd do a short update on our granite area. I'm referring it to as the granite bar. You can see when it gets wet, it just looks awesome. But on a dry day, they don't have as much character. It's more like this over here. We're underneath the tree right now, so we're not getting the, we're just, it's not getting wet yet. It's starting to come through somewhat. But because these are the rough side, so this is the, I'm using them as pavers, but it, the polished side is down. And the reason is it's just too slippery. You put snow on there, it's just, or even water isn't the best, but it's just too slippery. So I really come to the conclusion, if it's for walking on, go with the, go with the raw cut side and it's beautiful. So we have a little seat here, kind of sharp on the edges to be honest with you. But um, maybe the top one could be polished. That would be really nice. I do have one I could grab for here maybe, or maybe I can try to polish some edges or corners or something. And then here we have kind of a mosaic abstract bar table, I'll refer to it as, or just a table. And then here we have a wall. So I tried to be very abstract with the wall. And I try to show some of the cool stone that I, like I know, are not real prevalent because we don't have any anymore. I've been told that this one is no longer quarried because it, they ran out of it in the quarry. This one's a really cool one. It kind of looks like a quartzite. This looks like a granite here, but it's got a really cool texture. So, and there's some other ones here. I mean, they're all really cool and beautiful, but some of the ones I thought were a little special because I don't see them when I'm doing inventory of the stone where I work. But So that's where we're at. We have a few extra here. I think what I'm going to do is bring the area out a little bit further, put some more crushed stone down, and bring it out a little bit further. Not much, just a little bit. And then that might be it. But looking really good. Uh, we had this... Um, piece of bluestone that was going to be discarded. I think because it it varies in thickness quite a bit. You can see it starts at about two and ends up with about two and a half here. So stones like that are sometimes hard to use and they end up being thrown to the side. So this was already crooked so I thought well I'll put that slanted one in here, put this here and then this was another item that was not really going to, it was going to be discarded so I grabbed it. I. I guess it's a natural, it looks like it's a real stone. And they did some cutting and made it into like a waterfall thing. So I'm not gonna put a pump on it or anything, but we thought it was kind of cool. So we'll leave it there for right now. And, and then we have a natural stone here that makes a really cool bird bath. Actually the dogs thought it was a good place to drink a little water this morning. Since it's been raining all night, it's probably okay. So um, there we're at. Oh, another little top here I put here to give us a little area. So, and then our metal railing looks really cool. Okay, so that's our, our granite bar area. On to the other project.